Well, welcome back to your Carolina. February is American Heart Month, and this year's theme is Reclaim Your Rhythm. There are so many ways that you can do that. It kind of takes on different forms, including taking the time to unwind and distress. You know what the best thing to do for that is? Yoga. So today we've got Ms. Megan Ramsey here with the American Heart Association and Claire Gutrod here with Soul Yoga in her awesome red outfit. I was like, how perfect for a heart month, girl. That's going to stop some hearts, <laughs> though, that are watching. They're like, oh, what's up? She's going to demonstrate um, a little yoga with our yogis here. But Megan, first, talk to me about why we're doing this and why we really want to bring attention to heart month. Yes. Yeah, so as you mentioned, our theme for this month is Reclaim Your Rhythm. The last 18 months with the pandemic have been hard. They've yes. been stressful and people are reporting lower physical stress, lower mental stress. Or, and so we really want to encourage people, reclaim your rhythm, and that can take on different forms. De-stressing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Doing yoga. Taking moments to breathe. Right. Um, and that really impacts your overall heart health. And a lot of people think that you have to jump in and do something really extreme when you're trying to improve your health, but really something as simple as just stopping and breathing, taking a yoga class, and really focusing on your emotional well-being is a big thing towards your better health. Absolutely. You know, we know that when people's mental well-being isn't where it needs to be, you might not be working out, you might be overeating, you mm -hmm. might start smoking cigarettes or, you know, using products like that. So anyway, just taking a moment, breathe, uh -huh. unwind, it'll make your overall health so and much better. One thing too that's so important is we're in this world where we have things at our fingertips. We want like changes like this. I'm so guilty of that. <laughs> but too. you know, something like yoga calls you like, you're not gonna see a change, like a, a crazy change the very next day you right. do it. But it's one of those things, if you take a few minutes and do it here and there, a month or two down the line, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so much You know what yoga helps different. me in? Traffic. Yes. yes. Traffic. Yes. Because it's like, you know, you're there, you're just like, there's well, there's nothing, nothing I can, can do, do about, about it. it. Let me do that so. breathing <laughs> that Claire taught me about right. at Soul Yoga last you're right? weekend. Yeah. And Claire, yoga looks different for every person. Like, some people may be on their heads and on their hands. Uh. Some people may just be going there just to lay in child's pose. Yes. Whatever it is for you. Exactly. All you have to do is breathe in and out, and you can call it yoga. <laughs> I love that. Why is the breathing so important? Um, the breath work can calm your mind. It can improve circulation. It can help calm you down. It can um, improve your mental capacity, your ability to understand, to be compassionate. Breath is the key to health. It's for everything. Sure. Yes, because how many times do you find yourself so tense and you're like, oh wait, I just I haven't breathed I in a second. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're holding it in, you're like, let that out, let, <laughs> let it out. Well, will you do a couple little demos for us and then Megan and Jamarcus will help be your yogis today. Absolutely. We'll help be happy to. So come to your back. We'll start in Supta Baddha Konasana, which is you just fancy that, right? for a reclined angle pose. I don't know if I can do it in these pants. I don't want to have another <laughs> don't, accident so if, yes. like yes, last week. I'm so happy that you said that because yes. if bringing the soles of your feet together and letting your knees knock out um, don't work in your hip flexors, you can bring your knees together and bring your feet out to the outside edges of your mat, whatever works in your body, and then bring your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. Focus on taking a deep inhale holding it, Doing and good, then guys. exhale for twice the amount of time. Lengthening your exhales stimulates your body to slow down and relax. So take one more deep breath in, and exhale twice as long. Claire, you'd be so proud of Jamarcus. His breathing, you're so good. I got tuba player lungs. You do, like, you're, you're doing all I'm the I'm always allowed to breather in yoga. They you really like, are. Be quiet. Yeah. He must be the teacher's favorite. Oh, he's a teacher. He's a teacher's <laughs> pet, yes. And then one more, bring your legs together and slide your feet up towards the wall. This is referred to as legs up the wall. You can place your butt against a wall or you can do it unsupported just like this. Three to 10 minutes a day like this helps your blood rush towards the center of your body, which has a very calming effect. And just the same way, take a deep breath in. Exhale twice as long. Do you feel calmer, Demarcus? I do. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. Okay. I'll no, kick this you when you can't do in traffic. Yeah, don't do that in traffic. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this in traffic. Well, you can even do it at work. You know? exactly. Mark, DeMarcus is showing that you can, you know, lie down on the floor. You can't do it. There. But, you know, this is like, you know, something seriously. If you do these, even like during a commercial break while you're watching something, 
Let's see if you can see a difference. Try it. You these. may get some weird looks from your coworkers, but it'll be fine. <laughs> but don't don't worry about them. Megan, you can stay down like that if you want to. You can stand back up, whatever you're in the mood for. But tell us, you know, as we go throughout, you know, the rest of the week and next week we'll be coming on talking more heart health and, and stuff. What do you want people to know? What what's some marching orders for them this so weekend? We just want people to reclaim their rhythm, figure out what that means to you, whether that's moving more, de-stressing, eating better, just embrace this time yes. and take it as an opportunity to improve your health and just think about things yeah. for a second yes. this is all about just thinking take a minute you you know you about to eat a big cheeseburger think That's do right. i really need this yeah. maybe i, really I can save it? it for next month you know, moderation <laughs> is yes. okay so. and if you want a, an amazing yoga workout go to soul yoga they are fantastic it's great right you know by the swamp rabbit yes. thanks claire thanks yes. megan we appreciate you guys great job, thank you. All right.